Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wish all the best for all of you. And I have something else for all of you that are new on my channel and you are visiting my channel for the first time. Please subscribe me and get, leave a comment in the section below. Today we're gonna talk about top 5 old, oldest volcanoes that are still active. Before we begin with our list, I wanna give you some information about the volcanoes. So, firstly, I want to see you that Italy's Mount Etna and Mexico's Popocatapit volcano have been huffing and puffing their way into the news recently, spewing plums of ash and dribbling lava in the latest flare-ups of eruptive activity that have been going on for years in the case of both volcanoes. While larger eruptions such as the Philippines Pinatubo in 1991 and in 1980, blast of Mount uh, St. Helens in Washington are more famous for the disruption they caused. Some near constant eruptions have their own associated hazard, poising threats no to nearby communities and potential disruption to air traffic from ash plumps. Here are five volcanoes that doesn't allow get a lot of fanfare but have been quietly or maybe not so quietly rumbling and spitting up volcanic material continuously for years, even decades in order of the number of years they have been erupting. Number one in our list is Mount Etna, Italy, 109 years old. Mount Etna, Latin Aetna, Sicilian Mongibello, active volcano on the east coast of Sicily. The name comes from the Greek Aetna from Ibern. Mount Etna is the highest active volcano in the Europe, its chump mast elevation being about 10,900 feet, 3,320. 20 meters. Like other active volcanoes, it varies in height, increasing from deposition during eruption and decreasing from the periodic collapse of the crater stream. In 1865, the volcanic summit was about 170 feet, 52 meters, higher than it was in the early 21st century. Etna covers an area of some 600 square meters miles, 1,600 square kilometers, and its base has a circumference of about 93 miles. Etna has been studied systematically since the middle of the 19th century. Three observators have been set up on its slope. They are located at Catania, Casa Etna, and Cantoniera. Etna's geological characteristics indicate that this has been active since the end of the Neogene period. The volcano has had more than one active center. A number of subsidiary cones have been formed on the lateral fissures extending out from the center and down the side. The present structure of the mountain is the result of the activity of at least two main eruptive centers. And I have something else too, that two new eruptive fissures have opened up at Etna Volcano, Italy, late June 7, 2022. Lava is being poorly fed and the flow has expanded only by a few tens of meters. Number two in our list is Mount Yasur, but now to 100 11 years old. This stratovolcano is part of the archipelago nation of Vanuatu in the South Pacific. Yasur has been erupting nearly continuously for over a century and its eruptions, which often occur several times an hour, are classified as Chambolian or Vulcanian, a relatively low level type of eruption. Mount Yasur is a volcano on Ten Island Vanuatu, 361 meters high above the sea level, on the coast near Sulfur Bay, north of the taller Mount Tricosmera, which was active in the Pleistocene. It has a largely unvegetated pyroclastic cone with a nearly circular summit crater 
400 meter in diameter. It is a stratovolcano caused by the eastward moving Indo-Australian plate being subducted under the westward moving Pacific plate. It has been erupting nearly continuously for the several hundred years, although it can usually be approached safely. Its eruptions, which often occur several times an hour, are classified as Trambolian or Vulcanian. A large lava plain crabs across the valley at the base. So now let's talk about number three in our list and it's Stromboli, Italy, 108 years old. Stromboli is the tip of a massive underwater volcano that has been erupting nearly continuously for more than 2000 years. The explosive style of eruption displayed by it and other volcanoes is known as Trombolian. A 2002 eruption caused a small tsunami and damaged a village on the island, which lies off the coast of Italy and Sicily. Mount Trombolian has been in almost continuous eruption for the past 2000 to 5000 years. Its last serious one occurred in 1921. A pattern of eruption is maintained in which explosions occur at the summit craters, which melt to moderate eruptions of incandescent volcanic bombs, a type of tephra, at intervals ranging from minutes to hours. This pattern of Strombolian eruption as it is known is also observed at other volcanoes world. Number 4. Santa Maria, Guatemala 101 years old. Santa Maria is a 12,375 foot, 3,772 meter tall stratovolcano that towers over Guatemala's Pacific coastal plain. It erupted catastrophically in 1902, one of the largest eruptions of the 20th century, causing severe damage throughout southern Guatemala and carving a crater on the volcano's flank. A lava drum complex called Santiago has been forming in the crater since 1922. Some of the world's most active volcanoes that have nearby communities, but would you live near an active volcano? So now we're gonna begin with our list, top five list. So number five in our list is Sangi in Ecuador, 94 years old. The modern volcano structure, which reaches a height of 17,158 feet, 5,000 230 meters dates back about 14,000 years and was built within horseshoe shaped cal calderas or volcanic depressions or two previous edifices that collapsed and caused avalanches. The earliest report of a historical eruption here was in 1628, then more or less continuous eruptions were reported from 1728 until 1916. The volcano started up again in 1934 and hasn't stopped since.